Hello and welcome to 3dparadise.com In this tutorial I'll show you how to make an engine glow by using an Omnilight and this is a very easy method um, it won't give you stunning effects but it will look decent enough for your creations and if you're using this for stills you can add a lens effect to the Omnilight as well and it will give you a much better look um, but we're not going to use this because um, <coughs> we need something we can use to animate with and if you apply a lens effect to your Omnilight and animate it so the ship maybe uh, goes from here to far away then the lens effect will stay the same size and it will look it will well when the ship gets too far away you can't even see the ship because of the lens effect and you'll have to animate the lens effect uh, so it fits the correct size and that is really annoying this way you can just add a simple glow to it and um, it will look alright enough to uh, use for your animations on this you're making some professional stuff <laughs> but for still you can use the lens effect and it looks really good anyway I'll start by showing you how to make this I created a simple turbine looking thingy and I've applied or oh, put in uh, on light <coughs> just to light the scene standard multiplier haven't changed anything I put on shadows and that's about it and I applied a standard material to this no changes just standard material and rendering you can see this is our engine so I'm gonna make the glow here and want it in here and out <laughs> So, let's get started. I'm gonna choose the Omni Light from the Light and Standard Omni, create it anywhere. And here I'm gonna align it to my engine using the aligning tool. And I'm gonna use all positions and from center to center. Click OK. <coughs> Sorry. I'm gonna, gonna drag this out here like that just somewhere in here and I'm gonna go into the settings of this and change some parameters um, I'm gonna leave the multiply for now but I'm gonna use the acceleration show them all and you can see this is kinda big for an engine so small <laughs> so we're gonna lower these and the first one is the blue we're gonna change this, this is gonna be the brightest one and we're gonna choose this, or make this like here and then we're gonna go to the far generation and we're gonna make the start to where the near one ends so we're gonna move this down just like that and the end we need to just be outside of the edge of this as you can see it's just outside um, we're gonna put shadows on so it doesn't light up everything <coughs> we're gonna change the color to a light blue like this and you can see that if we render now it doesn't look like any like an uh, engine glow so we're gonna add a volume light in the atmosphere and effects click add and volume light. This is also where you can add the lens effect. We're gonna select it <coughs> and go into setup. I already got one here, you can see, but I'm gonna delete that one. I have this one. Down here, we're gonna change not much, but a little. I'm gonna leave the density, uh, put on noise, and make this about 40 ish. And that's pretty much it. You can change the density if you want, but I'm actually gonna raise this to 5.5 just for fun. <laughs> and let's see what we get now. See, now we can see you get a little glow here, and that is the effect we want, just a lot brighter. So we're gonna <coughs> squill up the intensity of uh, the Omni light here and we probably need a lot of it so 
seven perhaps. Let's see what we get. See it already starts to look like an ancient thrust, so um gotta go a little further away. <clears throat> I'm just gonna change some settings in the final gather. I don't know if you could see it, but in the last frame here you can see there's light under this and that's not supposed to be there. So in the final gather setup under render and render setup I'm gonna go into indirect Ill illumination and set this a little higher to medium. I'm gonna try render it again. And now we got rid of all the light. <coughs> See if we can get a little close on this. It takes a bit more time now <laughs> to render. But you can see the idea. You, we, we can make this a little larger so it kind of goes a little out here. And we can also copy the light and move it out here so we get a little longer trail on this. And um, I'm going to do that by just changing these attenuation settings. Just make this a little wider. <coughs> I'm going to make this start a little further out so it looks like it's a bit more bright a little more light to it go into the volume light settings and put a bit more density in it perhaps a uh, turbulence noise instead like that. let's see what happens now See, it goes out a little bit, maybe maybe too much now, but uh, you have to adjust these settings so it looks how you want. And you by changing in some bit here and some bit there, you can get a really nice effect, and um, that's what we want. Um, we can. I've added a camera here, so I'll just quickly show you how to put in a star field as well. As well. You may want that <laughs> on your spaceship or wherever scene you might make with space in it. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go into video post. It's on the render and video post. In here I already made something, but we're gonna remove that. That so we're gonna start by add scene event. Click that and you can name it here so it's more organized and we choose the camera. The camera is just randomly placed in the scene showing you the engine. So camera and click OK. In here we're gonna add a image filter event. Choose that. In here you can make a lot of settings. You can also add lens effect. Um you can make glows, focus highlight, all kind of stuff. But we're gonna choose the button one star field and we're going to choose setup. In here we can change a few settings like how the stars are getting spread out, uh, how bright it is you can move this to this um, the size of the star and we I, will, I like small stars so I'm going to change this to 0 0.5 you can choose motion blower to blow out the stars but I'm not going to change that we can make more stars actually I'm going to make this small like 0 0.4 and make about 40,000 stars and we need this in the background so click OK and OK now if you try render this execute sequence choose single or whatever frame you may want to render and render it will start rendering the whole scene and after it's rendered it will apply the stars in the background so as you can see now we've got engine stars, glow, it's space. I'm just gonna quickly try and drag this out to show what I meant before about making a little trail on this. Do like this. Scale down. Further in. And try render again. See, 
it doesn't really look that good but you have to of course adjust these settings so it will look like it's pretty even out like it's fading out here uh, behind the engine but um, I hope you can use this for something and use it in your space scenes uh, I like to see any work you created using my tutorials but um, have a good day